The average American that does not have a lot of resources, they hear about the billions that we are giving to Ukraine. And they say, well, why can't they give this money to my, my community? Why can't it come to my state? Why is it going overseas? And we hear Republicans talking about entitlements and, and talk about Social Security becoming insolvent. And then the average American will say, well, why are we giving all this money to Ukraine? Why are we not keeping it at home? And then you have folks in the mainstream media to say that that type of thinking is isolationist. Yeah, my thing, and it's very simple. Uh, the mainstream media, Democrats, those on the left, if you do not find a better way to communicate why you think we need to give money to Ukraine, folks are going to continue to resist. And I think that First of all, there's a lot of countries that we give aid to. We give a lot of money to Israel. We get a lot, a lot of money to Ukraine. And uh, a host of our uh, strategic partners. So when you talk about that, and then you have folks who do not have, folks who are not doing well, they're looking like, why can't my government help me? Why can't my government, why won't my government help me, but they're so quick to help another country? America wants to help uh, Morocco, who just had a crippling hurricane, and they don't even want America's aid. They don't even want America's money. We're trying to give money. We can't even give money away. But you turn around and, and uh, you know, have problems giving support to our very own citizens. It's a very backwards thing.